Hi there, this is Caroline from Just Ask Parker. I wanted to do this really quick video for you to show you something that I think is very, very interesting. Anyone that knows me knows that I talk a lot about reviews and the fact that reviews can make a huge difference to your business, but there is something you have to be careful of. So if you're setting up one of the apps that I recommend, such as Judge Me, for example, there's many of them out there. But if you're setting up an app like Judge Me, you have an option in the back end to not let reviews go live straight away, where you can actually manually check off a review and then decide if you want that to go public or not. This is a fantastic option to have, so you don't have to be showing really bad reviews. However, this is what I wanted to show you. So I've got a client at the moment with Just Ask Parker and I was doing a little bit of research for her brand and this is one of her competitors, this um, Needles No More. So I had a quick look to see the reviews for this particular brand because she's got a very similar product and when I came across it, I, I'm doing this right now and I realized this is actually a really great learning opportunity for you watching this because this is something that can really get yourself into a lot of trouble. So this particular brand, um, it's Dr. Brandt is the brand and this particular product. And when I look it up, there's no reviews here. There's one review there on eBay for um, four star, 1000, that's fine. But then we go down and we start to look rating 3.7 on Amazon. And I, as a shopper myself, when I'm looking for a new product, even though I don't personally buy from, well, I do buy from Amazon USA um, a bit because I get it shipped to the Netherlands, but because it is in the um, USA, I usually, I don't buy there. That's not my first choice, but some products I do purchase from there. But I do use Amazon a lot for reviews because what I like to do personally is look at the low star reviews, like one and two star, and take a look at what um, people are saying, like what are the reviews, working out if they're real or like fake ones and working out people's issues with products. Um, a good example is leggings. So women that wear um, leggings to the gym, one of the biggest issues is are they see-through? And some of the brands I'll look on Amazon and I'll see terrible reviews, but then you have a look and it's like, okay, um, they're probably wearing a size too small. And that's like, once you start reading these reviews, you're like, okay, they're probably not wearing the right size. So then that's probably causing a problem. Um, or you might read it and go, that's a fake review. Or you might say, okay, great. Those reviews are actually helping me understand that I shouldn't be wearing, um, these particular leggings. Um, and the same goes with other people once they start looking for products. So this is a um, beauty product and we see here 3.7 out of um, 107 reviews. That's not great. Then we move down 3.4 out of 437. And then we've got here uh, 4.2 um, out of 700. Okay, that's getting better. And then we go down here, and I thought this was really interesting. Their own website has 4.9 out of 103 reviews. And then there's 3.8 again. The point I want to make is that if you sell something and everyone else is giving it pretty terrible reviews, like Sephora has only got a 3.4, if all of these other websites are giving it such terrible reviews and then suddenly your website's saying it's a five-star rating product, that does not look great for you. That looks pretty fake. So be very aware of this. So while I love those apps where you can take out the reviews um, that are not great, this is a big difference between 3.2, I think we saw at one stage here, 3.4, 3.7, 3.4 is the lowest one there, to 4.9. That, that's a pretty big difference. So I'm not saying you can't do it. I'm not saying that it's the absolute end of the world. But that is something you have to be very aware of and that could actually could get you into a lot of trouble with people finding out whether you're legitimate as a brand or not. Um, now this might be your own products that you sell, it might be that you are actually selling other people's products. That really doesn't matter what you're selling um, but just be aware that your reviews can actually come back to bite you if you're doing something that looks too fake. 
that's it. That's what I wanted to share with you. Just a little tip for the day. And I hope that everything's going well in your Shopify store. If you've got any questions, please jump into the Facebook group, which is Winning with Shopify. It's a Facebook group over there where you can ask me questions. I'm always in there. My team's always in there. And we're happy to help you with anything that you need. Have a great day. Bye.